So here you can punch it a bit more. Oh my gosh. It feels like it is so responsive. This is the new F-150 Lightning. An electric version of Ford's iconic F-150 pickup truck. The F-150 has been the best-selling vehicle in America for about four decades. And today, facing increasing competition from both new and old rivals, Ford is looking to the F-150 Lightning to stay ahead of the pack. With so much riding on the success of the Lightning, I met the woman who spearheaded its development. It is a really big risk in a way to electrify such an iconic vehicle. Despite fierce competition from other automakers, the F-Series has long dominated America's truck market. But according to Ford, many Lightning buyers are new Ford customers. So the next challenge will be convincing its diehard pickup drivers to go electric. To understand what's at stake for one of the nation's oldest automakers, I took a test drive myself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Accelerates so quickly. <laughs> I feel like this is too fun to be doing on a Wednesday <laughs> afternoon on the highway. But this is a 1981 Ford. Yes, Ford conquers the mountain with the best gas mileage. And it's built. Ford Tough. Ford introduced its F-Series trucks in 1948. Since then, there have been 14 generations of F-Series. The F-150 didn't appear until 1975 as part of the sixth generation of F-Series. Today, American drivers continue to favor the F-Series over its competitors, making the F-150 the most popular vehicle in the country. Earlier this year, Ford launched its first electric pickup, the F-150 Lightning. This moment is every bit as important to this company and to this country as when the Model T first started rolling off the assembly line. One of the first things that stood out to me about the Lightning is its appearance. The design of the Lightning is quite similar in a lot of ways to the original F-150. Tell me about the decision making around keeping that design sort of similar. So when we were doing some early discussions with customers, it became very clear to us that we really wanted to maintain that F-150 DNA in a way from an appearance perspective. One of the customers told us, if my kid was going to go draw this truck, it needs to look like a truck. From the outside, the Lightning is roughly the same size, shape, and height as other crew cab 4x4s with a short cargo box. Particularly with the box, it was something that we wanted to make sure that we kept literally identical to our gas truck to be able to, again, help that customer transition if they're bringing accessories right over from their gas truck into an electric truck. The inside of the Lightning will also be familiar to F-Series owners, although the truck features some updated tech, like the 15.5-inch display screen available on certain models. It's so quiet, I forget that it's on. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the best things about the EV. Yeah. Silence is golden. In the race to develop their EVs, automakers had different visions. Ford prioritized speed by taking its existing gas-powered F-150 and retrofitting it with battery power, Ford beat GM to market. GM, on the other hand, focused on creating an all-new set of battery cells and motors that can be used as a base for future EV models. GM says that building up its platform has taken more time, but the company says laying this foundation will allow them to more quickly produce EVs in the future. And your strategy is different from many of your competitors in that you started with the F-150 platform and worked from there instead of building a new platform. Tell me about that decision-making process. The vehicle is actually completely ground up. It's an all-new frame, it's an all-new battery, all-new motors, all-new rear suspension. So really, in a way, that underpinning of the vehicle is completely designed specifically for this electric truck. What's similar, at least from an appearance perspective, is the cab and the box of the truck, but actually the inside, the guts, what makes it a truck is actually completely ground up. Since Ford prioritized getting to market first, the Lightning beat most of its rivals when it hit dealer lots this spring. But competition is heating up. GM's Silverado EV and Tesla's Cybertruck are expected to be released next year. In 2024, Stellantis is planning to release its Ram EV. What is the zero to 60? It's as fast as any race car. Zero to 60 in less than four seconds. 
What were your range goals for the Lightning and how did you meet them? We talked to a lot of commercial customers early on and kind of found that 200 miles is a really good target for them. For the retail customer, the magic number was really around 300. The Lightning comes with two battery options, a standard range battery, which can go about 240 miles, or an extended range model, which can travel up to 320 miles and can recharge in 41 minutes. Some of Ford's competitors are advertising future models with longer ranges than the Lightning. Both the Chevy Silverado EV and the GMC Sierra EV are expected to have a range of 400 miles. Tesla said its Cybertruck will feature a range between 250 to 500 miles, and Rivian said their R1T will likely have a range between 260 to 400 miles. Ford said it wants to be selling 2 million EVs around the globe each year by 2026. In August and September, the Lightning was one of the quickest Ford models to move off dealer lots, sitting, on average, for just eight days before being sold. We had to actually cut off our reservations last year at about 200,000 units. Um, so we're working very quickly right now um, to get our capacity up to a running rate of 150,000 by the end of next year. Although Ford's sales have outpaced its competitors in recent months, the company has encountered supply chain challenges. Most recently, Ford experienced a shortage of its blue oval badges, which has impacted the F-Series line. Even though Ford has taken an early lead in the EV race, the veteran automaker is not getting comfortable and has its eye on the wave of competitors about to hit the market. Your crosstown rival, GM, has said if you fast forward a year in the EV race, they're going to be winning because they've spent more time on their platforms now. Where do you think Ford stands in the long-term EV race? Part of what we've tried to do is really take the best of both worlds from that truck um, and, and taking what already works and then adding to it some of the new elements for electrification. I do think that we spent a really good amount of time in terms of thinking through how we can get to market fast. We will also be learning this whole time with this truck out in terms of how to make the product even better for our customers. So when our next generation comes out, we'll probably still be ahead.